Hello beautiful people. I am back finally with another video. I just want to say I have started this video on three different occasions and the audio kept cutting out. So fingers crossed this one's working. And today I'm going to share with you some of the tips that I learned um, when my daughter was four months old. So before I dive into that, if you haven't checked it out, this is kind of a series and I've had some awesome results on the last one. You guys loved it. It has, it's one of my top videos um, in terms of views. So be sure to check that out. I'll link it up here somewhere, um, but definitely in the description below. And um, yeah, that one's all about um, infant newborn tips that, that I had. So um, this time my daughter's napping, so she's not with me today, but I thought I'd share some of my tips with you. So the first tip, um, if you haven't already, um, ba your baby might be starting to um, start the process of teething. Um, some kids get teeth really early, some a little bit later. My daughter ended up um, cutting her first tooth around six months. And so at around four months, she started really chewing on a lot of things. So I think her body was getting ready um, for that whole process. Um, so things to chew on are huge. Um, one tip is that she loved my stuff more than her stuff. <laughs> so like our remote controls, our phone cases, all those kinds of things. She loved to chew on so much more than her own special chew toys that we got for her. Um, but there were a couple of baby specific um, things that we got um, as gifts that were very, very helpful. Um, and I will go ahead and list those right here. Um, there's a little giraffe toy that we got. Um, the, the ice pack teething rings um, were really nice and she actually only liked them when they were cold. She didn't, as soon as like her hands warmed them up, she didn't like them anymore. It was pretty funny. Um, so those kind of things and then sensory um, uh, things <laughs> basically. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be toys, but start getting them used to different um, feels of things. So um, if you have any, just things around your house, honestly, put some um, dry beans or rice into a bag so there's no choking hazard and, and let them play with that. Um, any little toys that you might have um, with different shapes and textures are great. Um, if it's you know nicer weather outside, go ahead and bring them outside, let them feel the grass and leaves and just get them touching a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so that's my first tip. The next one is cloth diapering. If you have not yet seen my video on cloth diapering, check that out. Again, I'll leave it up here somewhere, but definitely in the description below. But cloth diapering has been amazing for us. I know it's not for everybody, um, but it's been awesome for us. And my, my biggest takeaways is that we have, you know, saved a lot of money, but we've also done our part a little bit to help the environment without throwing away all of those disposable diapers. Um, but yeah, cloth diapering has been awesome. And a lot of times by three or four months, baby's legs are getting a little bit more chunky. And so a lot of times they can start to fit into cloth diapers a lot better um, than those early newborn kind of first couple of months. Um, so if you haven't yet started cloth diapering and your baby is um, kind of filling out a little bit, um, I would definitely recommend you check out my video and maybe give it a try. All right, and my next two tips are for the parents, specifically the mamas, but parents are also um, very important. Moms and dads um, can use these tips as well. So the first one is a support system for sleep changes. This is something that we are still working on. Um, and there's a lot of growth that happens in the first year and 
first year specifically, but first two years for sure. And so sleep kind of changes throughout that time. Um, but specifically around month four is when bra baby's brain starts to um, become more like an adult. They start to find that rhythm of sleep. It's not just drowsy newborn sleep all day anymore. Um, and so we have to kind of help them learn how to sleep and, and all of that. Now, I know there's big um, opinions between sleep training or not sleep training, so I'm not going to go into that. There's a lot of better resources out there than me. I am no expert on sleep for sure. Um, I just know what we have done and um, we have chosen not to sleep train, um, but I know a lot of people who have seen some benefits with sleep training. So do what feels right in your heart, but whatever you choose to do, have a support system, whether it's your partner in your house, um, whether it's you know someone you can talk to on the phone, whether it's an online community, um, just have a support system so that you can talk to somebody, bounce ideas, say, hey, did this work for you? and all of that good stuff because you will have questions. <laughs> Unless your kid is a perfect sleeper and they just maintain that way, that's amazing. Um, but have a support system, uh, in my opinion, is super beneficial um, because if, if any of my friends are watching this, they, they are nodding their head and saying, yep, Kathy reached out to me several times throughout <laughs> these first, you know, this first year to, uh, to, to question and bounce ideas and all that stuff. So thank you to any of my friends who are watching, who helped me at 3 a.m. Um, saying, oh my gosh, is this ever gonna end? Or, oh my gosh, am I doing the right thing? Or what did you do? So all those questions are normal and all of them are you know important to talk to people about. And last but not least, tip number four is fueling your body. This is for you, mom and dad, but specifically for mom, specifically if you're breastfeeding, if you're not breastfeeding, you're still healing. So even though by this point of four months, you most likely been cleared to exercise by your doctor, you might've started exercising yourself, but whether or not you are breastfeeding, your body is still healing. It took nine months at least for your body to grow your baby and then bring it into this world. So wouldn't you think that it would take at least that long for your body to heal? Now, I know a lot of people, there's a, a, there is some pressure out there in the world for mom to bounce back and get your body back and all these kinds of things. But I'm here to tell you that that is not important allow yourself to heal, to enjoy your baby, and to fuel your body and move your body in a way that feels good and supportive. A lot of changes happen to your body physically and emotionally, and it's important to take your time in that healing process and enjoy that healing process. So fuel, eat the foods that you feel good with emotionally eat sometimes it's okay you need those things sometimes and sometimes you just want a little comfort from food and that's okay but also be sure to include a variety of those colorful fruits and vegetables that you know i talk about all the time but they are important it helps your body to recover to heal and to get strong now if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching but also, if you haven't heard, I am now a fourth trimester fitness instructor and speaking of healing and supporting your body in your postpartum period, I now teach a class for pregnant moms and very soon I'll be teaching a class for postpartum moms to, on how to support your pelvic floor, support your core during pregnancy and after pregnancy. Um, and how to support your body in, in all of the changes that go through pregnancy. So um, if you are interested in that, I've got one more link up here and one more link in the description. So definitely check that out. 
And that is it for my four month tips. I hope you enjoyed those four four month tips. And next tip round will be all about eight months. So I'm kind of going on a, on a quarterly um, basis here with that. So eight months will be the next one. So if you have any questions about that time of four to eight months in what kind of happens, I will be sharing my experience, but I'd love to know your questions because I'm sure I have gone through that or I know people who have gone through that. So leave your questions in the comments below and I will answer those in my next video. So without further ado, again, fingers crossed that this audio works and if it does, you'll be seeing this video. So thank you very much for um, hanging in there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.